Wow, I just got a letter from Pulitzer. I hope I pleased them and they have positive words to say to me. Dear Michelle, Pulitzer here. After much consideration, we have chosen you as the best art speaking sort of critic explainer art person of them all. I am filled to the brim with joy. What an honor. What? Jerry? It is all a lie. It is all a lie. After being a two-time finalist, Jerry Saltz, the senior art critic at New York Magazine, has finally won a Pulitzer Prize for criticism. Don't know much about Saltz? Well, he'd give Pepper a run for its money. <laughs> Artnet News has described him as perhaps one of the most famous art critics in America, one of the first art writers to embrace the power of social media and the everyman of the art world. This description is based on how he has a clear, concise writing style that can please both the insideriest insider of the art world and an amateur who has better things to do with their life than stare at paintings. On social media, he posts photos of everything from artists he admires or hates, to political satire or memes, to serene contemplative landscapes where he's taking a walk or selfies at the doctor's office. Sure, it's not a foodie dog, but it's not bad. In their statement on why they chose Saltz, the Pulitzer Prize judges wrote that he was chosen for a robust body of work that conveyed a canny and often daring perspective on visual arts in America, encompassing the personal, the political, the pure, and the profane. One of his award-winning essays that caught the eyes of the judges was My Life as a Failed Artist, which discusses why Saltz became an artist, why he gave up, and how that ended up turning him into an art critic. He has been with New York Magazine since 2007. Before that, he was a critic at Village Voice for nearly a decade. His bylines have also been seen in Time Out New York and Art in America. Despite being such an authority on the art world, his beginnings were rather modest. He never went to college, has no degrees, and didn't start writing until he was over 40 years old. It's never too late to start again. Saltz's award has received a lot of attention online. Neera Tandon, president of the Center for American Progress, said it is a well-deserved honor, adding that she's always been a super fan. There's also been some uh, haters along the way too. Believe it or not, sometimes people don't like what you do on the internet. The sarcasm isn't cute or funny. You're trying something, so just try. Don't intentionally overact and be sarcastic about it. It's not refreshing. It's what everybody else has been doing. BuzzFeed stinks and this felt like a BuzzFeed video. Quantity and no quality. Dear God, why does it hurt so much? Why people no no be nice to me me? I make a good show. Observer, a website that requires you to turn off your ad blocker before reading their content, dubbed his social media presence the average Joe of art, further describing him as a caricature of a creepy uncle making inappropriate jokes at Thanksgiving dinner. This isn't the first time Salt has been criticized. In December 2010, the new Criterion executive editor, James Pinero, wrote an article titled, My Jerry Salt's Problem. The problem being that he has allegedly degraded his print brand through his internet presence. Panero also whined about being unfriended, along with 900 other people, for not providing sufficient postings on his wall. Aww. In a further attack on Saltz, Panero also criticized Work of Art, The Next Great Artist, which is a reality game show on Bravo that Saltz was the judge on, and that Panero said resulted in trivial works. Even so, while it only lasted two seasons, it still boosted Saltz's online following. It's likely that no matter what you do, you're going to get criticized. If you're out there working hard, making something, criticizing something, or, well, living, it's gonna happen. Whether you're the one being criticized for critiquing something, or it's your work that's being criticized by a critiquer, it's just a never-ending cycle. I understand that not all criticism is created equal, but this kind of criticism can be important. It allows people to reflect on and discuss art and other topics, in a more meaningful way. If artists or even critics were sheltered from opinions, positive or negative, of what they do, they wouldn't be able to get better or understand the impact of their work. And for that, Mr. Saltz, I thank you. Are you watching, Jerry? Hello? Nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Jerry. I didn't know it was you. I didn't know you knew about me or Art Splained or... It's a nice idea. I like it. I got to know about you and about artists in general. You know what, Jerry? I like you. But I actually got off on that. No! I love you. I no. love you. I love you. You know what they say, Jerry. Love is blind.
I actually got off on that. 